Hi guys and welcome to my brand new channel. I am so excited to be doing this. I've been wanting to do this for a very, very long time. Finally got my app together and, um, and we've got this YouTube channel up and going. Um, welcome, welcome to it. Have a look around. There's all these great videos we'll, 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 we'll be putting up very soon. And if you like these videos, please hit the like button below and subscribe um, because that way you will not miss a single thing we put up and you'll just make sure you don't miss anything we put up. Turn on your no notifications and then it'll ping at you. You know, I put something cool up on, on YouTube and you can come across and have a, have a squiz. So today I thought we'd start off with um, a very interesting video on ulcers and how I treat the horses and what I've done just recently to get the bush weasel back on track. So once I put a video up from Aubrey the other weekend about how much she has improved, everyone's been messaging me and DMing and PMing on Facebook and everything saying we want to know what you've done Megan. So pretty much everybody has their own potion lotion advice on also, and every horse is really different as well. So you have to find what works for your horse and what your vet recommends as, as well. So um, this is not the be end all of everything. However, I will start with some things that I use. She has been on, which is Verena, the bush breeze, on Equishore from Kaya the entire time. Now, Equishore is a hind gut buffer. The only product on the market I think I've spoken about this before, um, that gets to the hind gut to neutralize the sort of acidosis that goes on in the digestive process in the hind gut that makes horses really quite uncomfortable and they can be sort of a bit uh, sketchy if it, if it hurts, so to put a, um, a better word to it. So imagine Equishore is, it's bicarb soda activated and a whole bunch of other scientific stuff which the vets and the scientists have worked out. Anyway, in layman's terms, the horse eats it in their feet and it goes through the digestive tract, da, 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 takes about two hours at the time released buffer. And after two hours of being in the digestive tract, it finally gets to the hind gut. And you can imagine this little bicarbs in there and they kind of go poof and they explode gently and they just sprinkle their goodness all over that sort of acidosis in the in the hind gut there and neutralize it make the horse feel a lot better so we have a lot of horses on equishore um especially those guys working really hard and it's really good for a horse in a high grain diet not that i feed much grain at all but high grain can be just like a, a processed feed as, as well um so equishore has been my go-to for a very very long time then also in the research, they, they say that loosen hay and loosen char fed just before you ride the horse is really good to sit on the stomach as it's in the stomach and it's a bit of a buffer there and stops it literally from splashing around. So you can imagine the bottom half of the horse's stomach is aligned to protect it from the stomach acid and the top half isn't aligned to protect it. So really bad design. I guess because they're designed to graze all day and just hang out in the in the fields, not if they're doing the fast work and jumping and work that we actually ask them to do. So we have to look after their guts and their systems to cope with the work we ask them to do. So this loosen chaff sits on there. So for a long time, always fed our guys loosen chaff in their feed, or for you guys watching overseas, alfalfa chop maybe you can you can call it, alfalfa chaff. Um, but for us it's just that green loosen hay that gets chopped up into little chaff and we feed that. Have them in their feet and also before I, I ride them, they get a nice wet handful of, of loose and chaff, a big double handful actually of, of loose and chaff and they get tacked up. Now, then you have a lot of ulcer um, medication for horses in, in a, a paste form. I love personally Ulcer Shield. These guys don't sponsor me, so I'm not pushing this product at all, but this is the one that I found works the best. Um, there's Omegard, Ulcer Guard, there's a whole pile of products out there, Carafact tablets, you can give them all, all sorts of things. But I discovered a while ago that if you actually gave like three to six mils of ulcer shield as you tack them up, especially at a show, it kind of worked as, worked as a anti-acid, like if you'd have Gavastron yourself, if you got heartburn or reflux, you would you'd take that Gavastron lolly, you'd, you chew and it would just settle everything down because they can get quite anxious being tacked up at the show knowing what's about to happen. So that really worked really well. So 
When I put Barina and Barbie on their Ulta Shield when they arrived from overseas last year, I put them all on there on a full course of it straight away just as a preventative because I'm sure it was a, a stressful experience for them traveling from overseas. I was giving it to them when um, we were riding them. So it had a certain effect on them, but I wasn't actually fixing the ulcers. I give you a chance to actually heal what was in their gut. I was just sort of masking the symptoms. So a couple weeks ago, I've, um, Barbie actually, interestingly enough, I was away at Interschool Nationals and Barbie had a bit of a, a colicky episode in the evening and the girl on Sunday, of course, at 5 p.m., of course, and the girls called me and said, Barbie's not quite right. So call the vet. I wasn't there to assess anything. Call the vet. And she wasn't colicky, but she was kind of burping a bit. So I thought it could have been a bit of choke maybe or just something going on. And the vet turned up and they'd put the hose down her throat and, and relieved that bit of choke in her. But she gorged herself on the grass. Lots of, lots of spring grass around, as Barbie does, because she likes to be around. But anyway, gorged herself and the vet came and put the tube down her throat just to drench her and have a, a listen, a smell, I guess. And he said the stench that came out of her gut was disgusting. So she just her gut was going crazy with this with this green glass in there. She'd been in that paddock, mind you, for a week, but obviously had a really good day of the glass. Really good that, that power eating. <laughs> anyway, and then he so he he drenched her, but then when she drenched her with a saline drench, she immediately dropped to the ground, caught it properly and rolled. And he said she must have ulcers in there because of salt has obviously what has hit the ulcers and it really upset her stomach, so we probably should get her um, scope. And I'd never really heard that happening before, so I'm like, you learn new things all the time. So she was booked in the next Wednesday to go get scoped, and we had um, been to Renella Horse Farms, and Brina had reared up and napped on cross country four times. And she'd been difficult, as we know, she's the bush and I lunge the rest of it. And she had a course and she's got a gut treatment there, but wasn't wasn't on Holter Shield recently. Anyway, so four times I said, Oh, this is ridiculous. So I booked her in to be scoped as well. Well, Barbie was probably three out of four ulcers, so that's pretty bad. And she's a little bit witchy with the legs, so don't use spurs on her, but she's fat round, eats a bit of things, it doesn't display all the normal ulcer signs particularly. And they don't always, it's not always they don't eat skinny and dull coat. It can be so many different things that Makes them upset. The value was having problems jumping down drop fences. And that was, I thought, she over jumped and it was scaring herself a little bit. But it turns out the gut was killing her and didn't want to go down the drop fences. So there's so many things you got to think about. Anyway, Verena was grade one to two with some significant scarring in there as well. So she's obviously suffered from this for a very, very long time on and off throughout her, her life as well. So I changed my routine with my ulcer shield that they would have. There's yeah, six meals in the morning on an empty stomach. Because at night time they get half a feed at sort of three feed and rest of their feed at 5 p.m. and hay nets at 7.30 at night. So we really spread their feed out to try and avoid this happening in the stables. Anyway, so six meals old should on an empty stomach, we wait half an hour. Okay, that is the ideal. So this way the product can get into the empty stomach, go on all the ulcers, do its work, heal them up, make them feel better rather than going onto a belly full of feed and, and it helps sort of that anti the anti acid sort of heartburn feeling but it's not actually healing what's in their gut so i started that on the wednesday before all the horse trials um, and then i also gave her at the competition three meals as we tacked up as well because you can get up to 12 with the ulcer shield a day, a day i've been told by the vet so I will use that if I need to. It gets expensive, yes, but you put so much effort into your barriers, your lessons, your training, your feet on the horses. This is the last that you really have to think about, you know, and really and do it properly. So she went to Aubrey and she was amazing. She finally did a dressage test that I knew she could do. She only spooked at every letter around the arena, a bit of a pick, pick all the time. And again with ulcers, that is an absolute telltale sign that have their suffering is that spookiness, which is a little bit sort of, you can't comprehend why, you don't understand why it's always happening. They, have, they would probably have ulcers, okay? So um, she was amazing, it was windy, the, the weather was horrible. I did her 
um, arena familiarisation right early, got off her, did our ID, trot up, vet check we have to do, tapped her back up in the warm up area, which I would never normally do, and hopped on her and went and wrote her. Now that just sounds pretty like a normal thing to do, but Marina, you don't do that because you end up on the ground and you end up running away probably. I never been on the ground with her, but I've managed it so that it never turned into that. <laughs> So I was going, wow, this is a different horse and she did a beautiful test. She showed up beautifully. Cross country, yes, she didn't know at the start box, tried to nap a little bit, but then got going and was amazing. So that's with um, the Ulster Shield and the, and the Equal Shore. And then I also changed my Lucen Char product to some Fiber Beat. The camera come in here. So Fiber Beat is a product made by the Speedy Beat company. Maybe Speedy Beat made by Fire Beat, I don't know. Uh, again, they don't surprise to me, but I just changed. So it starts off as a dry alfalfa loosen flake, and then you, um, like a, a quarter scoop of this with one scoop of water, it expands into a whole scoop of this beautiful mush stuff here and all the horses go mad and love it or go mad for it and the, and this just apparently I've been told sits in an emulsifies the gut for longer and put in test for longer so again sort of helps keep more in their digestive tract for a longer period of, of time and so that's what I've changed as well so I've changed to this I've changed how I give my ulcer shield plus giving it at the time of saddling up at the comp as, as well. Once they finish this, this full course and they get through Adelaide Horse Trials and Wallaby Hill, we'll then go into maintenance dose of one and a half to two mils a, a day, round it back up again for six mils, two days prior to a comp and for traveling and during the comp. And so we're up and down with the Ulster Shield and that's how I'm gonna manage the, uh, the bush weasel. And that's how you're gonna see her finally winning some events. So thank you so much for listening and watching. I hope you found this really um, interesting. And subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.